So for a few years now, I've been watching multiple uh, beekeeping channels on YouTube. And one in particular was about seven years ago, Don, the fat bee man, uh, put up his brood builder formula on YouTube in a video. And I, I probably saw it back then and thought, oh, that's interesting. But I've kind of always been a person that, I, I say it all the time, let nature take its course. Um, but beekeeping is expensive. And when you look at this year, a package of bees is selling for around $200. And if you lose those bees due to disease or something like that, you're out 200 bucks. Well, if there's anything I can do to help those bees out, I want to do it if it costs less than $200, right? Because that's just cheap insurance. So when the Fat Bee Man come out with that formula, I kind of made a mental note of it, but never used it. And then the last year or two, I've seen some other very reputable commercial beekeepers also promoting the same formula. And it's really, um, the best time to do it is in the spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up a batch of this using the same recipe that the Fat Bee Man posted seven years ago. I've never used it, but each of these bottles of oil was off of Amazon between about nine and $13. Basically, it takes spearmint, lemongrass, tea tree, and wintergreen. That's the four oils you're going to need. Basically, the way it works is you take one cup of water, stick it in a blender. Now, this is the same blender I use to make my protein shakes in. But hey, oils are relatively safe for us, so I'm told. And then take all but the lemongrass. So that's all but the lemongrass, the three, tea tree, spearmint, and wintergreen. You put one teaspoon of each into the blender. Now, that bee man says he wasn't really ever crazy about measuring it. So that tells me it ain't got to be exactly right. So if I go over a little bit, if some spills out, drop for two, above, a teaspoon, we're still going to call it good. That's my perfect way of measuring anyways. You hear me say it all the time when I do food videos. So I already put in one teaspoon of wintergreen. This is one teaspoon of tea tree oil. Then one teaspoon of spearmint. And then ten drops. 10 drops of lemongrass, give or take. So that means if you put 12 in, you're still okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Got a dangler there, 11. That's 10 drops, give or take. Once you got that done, turn your blender on. 
after five minutes on blend. High speed blend, five minutes. <laughs> All right, so that's the end of our five minutes. Can you see that? Of course not. Yeah, it's been five minutes, trust me. So once that's done, I'm then going to put it into a mason jar. Now the reason why you mix it up like that for five minutes, you have to emulsify the oil and the water. The reason being, if you've ever added oil to water, you know it don't mix. But when you emulsify it, you're adding air that then allows it to mix. Okay. So this emulsified water can now be added to your sugar water this one cup plus a little bit more uh, one cup and three three teaspoons will make two gallons of sugar water they're eight quarts and two gallons so that means if you're gonna make one quart of sugar water I feed my beehives and one quart mason jars it would take one eighth of a cup of this added to the sugar water if you're going to do two quarts it would take a quarter cup of this see what I'm saying so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a batch of one to one spring sugar water mixture for the bees and I've already got a video on how to do that I'll just link to it but when I get ready to add it I'll show me adding one eighth of a cup of this to that mixture. I'll bring you right back in a minute. One thing I forgot to mention, if you have cats, do not use tea tree oil inside the house where that oil smell could be diffused by the heat of the water. Uh, tea tree oil can make cats sick. So that's a little tip I wanted to share with you. Uh, actually, my sister told me that. I didn't actually know it. But uh, so if you use that tea tree oil inside your house, it can make your cat sick. Just make sure you don't use it in the house or let the cat outside like I did today. So while my water is heating up, I thought I could go ahead and do this. I'm making one quart of bee syrup at a one to one mixture for spring. One to one ratio. Because I'm only making one quart and because this one cup makes two gallons, there are eight quarts in a gallon or eight quarts in two gallons. That means I need one eighth cup of this added to my sugar water. So I'm just going to Dip the measuring cup in there, get an eighth of a cup or close to it, add it to my jar. I'm actually going to go just a little bit more because it was under an eighth of a cup slightly. Then that way when my sugar water is ready I can just dump it in there and shake it up by hand. That'll mix it. And here I let my water come to a boil which I didn't mean to do so I'll turn the heat down before I add the sugar go ahead and add the sugar and get this all mixed up
until it runs clear. Some left over. Speaking of it, spring, I probably need to be setting up the uh, hummingbird feeders. Probably should have made more than just a quart. Oh well, I can do that on a different video. Anyway, so I'm just going to go with the fact that it mixed up as I dumped that in there, and it's also relatively hot. So now I just cap it. Let this cool down and I'll go put it on the beehive later on today. So that's it. That's how I made it. And uh, I'll do a follow-up video on how I think this is working.